is the southern ground hornbill in a dead tree, as requested, Roshni. Anything else? <laughs> of course, by pure chance. And we'll see it's not singing at the moment and the others aren't singing either. I can imagine they will be scattered amongst the various trees. There is, yeah, you can see sort of bottom right, you can see that there is another one. And I wonder if it's not the family of five that we often see around here. And as soon as they start singing again, I'll go quiet, I promise. But that doesn't look like a very comfortable tree to roost in. It's having a scratch. That's what it was doing there, lifting its foot, not trying to do a balancing act. Well, I suppose it was trying to do a balancing act. But I wonder if it's going to stay there or if they're going to find a different tree. Now, when you are big, like a southern ground hornbill, they're not the smallest bird. You need to try and find a tree that doesn't have too many, of course, leaves on it. <laughs> Elaine, you said you didn't hear the hornbills on the damn cam, but you did hear screaming Franklins. I believe you 100%. I feel like though sometimes that's the only sound that a Franklin can make is when it starts shouting. Oh, beautiful. Off it goes. Let's see if we can get another gap. Perhaps if we go along Rebecca's Road, we might get another view. I'm not sure, though. They're flying off in that direction. <laughs> Red Brick Films, you said that I'm spoiling Roshni. I am. How great is that? Nature played its part. We're going to get a nice view of them. They're all sitting in what looks like a dead knob thorn. I'm just trying to think, is Rebecca's Road going to be the right choice? We'll stop here. We'll have a quick look. You can see them there. They actually just look like, uh, there, there. you can see where they're flying. They're all flying to the next tree. We'll watch from the distance and then we'll try and find a new spot. They're, hook, they're all sitting in different trees. And then if you go to the left, Craig, um, there we go. That, that tree here, this one, they're in there. There's one sitting on the edge. Is that one? Yeah, there's two. I think there's two in there still. Let's see if the other ones are going to fly and join the rest of the flock. There they go. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look how graceful they are. Oh, wow. Now, <laughs> Sylvia, you want me to tell you what they sound like? I'll try, but I will play the call for you while you um, sit here. Uh, they go. Do, do, do. That probably doesn't sound anything like a hornbill. Let me play the call rather, Sylvia. I think that will be the better option. H for hornbill. And then we need to go scroll. Okay, you ready? You can watch the birds. They're so beautiful. So that's my phone making that noise that was not those hornbills calling but there we go Sylvia now you know what a southern ground hornbill sounds like they've got a beautiful tune and it's not loud and sort of overbearing like the sound of a turtle dove that, uh, that turtle dove call really does dominate and it drowns out the rest of the bird calls Craig I've just seen one of your family members there's a bat flying above us <laughs> it's so cool oh Let's see if it comes back around. Maybe it's going to come this way. I don't know how great, how, how great, how difficult it's going to be to try and catch it. Look very carefully, there's a bat flying around. There it is, go Craig, go! Is that your brother or your sister? <laughs> it's very small, it's so difficult. It's tiny, this little bat. But it, it must be smaller, oh, my hands are filthy again from the steering wheel. It must be smaller than the size of my hand, but it's just flying around us. Now, probably one of the microcarpters, the insect eating bats. Let's reposition, let's see if we can get a view of the, better view of these hornbills, a slightly closer one. I reckon if we just go very quietly along Rebecca's road, we might be able to sneak up towards them and maybe get some silhouetted shots of the southern ground hornbill. The light is so beautiful now. It is so pretty. Actually, we could probably do from here. Should we try a quick one here? And then we'll go closer. We'll just have a quick look from here in case they fly away, just so that you can get your silhouetted shots. It'll be from a distance, of course. But I can only count one, two, three. F yeah, three. Three southern ground hornbills. Maybe there's two more lurking on some other trees. But we're going to go around now and try and reposition and see if we can get a closer look 
George, you said that they are so hard to get on camera. They are indeed. It is very difficult. That's why we have to take these opportunities and view from a distance. Craig, should we show them the beautiful sunset very quickly? How gorgeous is that? There is an opportunity for a screensaver. That is magical. But I'm going to leave you with this view and hopefully we'll get a closer view of the southern ground hornbill sitting up in that knobthorn tree. We know Tristan is sitting with Nena, one of the Birmingham boys. I wonder if he's starting to wake up.